keep this one very straightforward and simple. Weapon materials are very useful, especially once you reach the endgame and you want to try new characters. You want to level up the ascension weapons, you want to level up the terrible weapons. So there is a method to AFK farm lots and lots and lots of materials and thankfully enough it's from a very very easy quest. This is going to be easier or harder on you depending on certain little things. Like for example, how good is your crew? How good do you have the sigils of your party members? How good is your level? Uh, all that kind of stuff it is going to be a little bit uh, kind of a consequential of what is it that we want to do right here. But there's a couple of steps that you also need to do to make this thing work. First and foremost, like uh, we all very well know by now, if you, if you go into gameplay mode, you go to the loading screen skip it, and you place it, you click the auto skip option. This is going to manually immediately begin the next quest. Now this is a little bit of an extra something, you do not need that, but, but I advise for you to use the full assist mode on this quest. This is an extreme quest and uh, it is going to allow us to use the full assist mode right here. So uh, it's going to be a little bit of an extra something, it is not going to be mandatory, but your character is actually going to do something interesting if you do so. So as you were seeing on the gameplay background, as you see on the gameplay background, essentially you have to stand in here and you have to protect this place for quite a bit of time. It is going to take 4 minutes to, meet, to uh, defeat the quest and usually your crew members, your party members, they are going to be the ones that are going to take care of uh, sustaining that 50% uh, health uh, of that little thing. You're not needed in here, you just leave your character in the middle of that thing and if someone bypasses that and get close, your character is going to be immediately start attacking. So that's basically how it works. And the quest that we're talking about, it's on the uh, extreme difficulty. It is going to be right here. Now let me see the uh, shedding light on the pillar. So there's one little downside about this thing. One of the side objectives for you to get extra large fortitude crystals it is going to be uh, by defeating four, uh, four enemies with thrown objects. Since you're going to be AFK, you're not going to be completing that side objective, so you are going to be missing out on like five large crystals, I believe. But at the end of the day, by just doing this thing every four minutes, I have even gotten like 10 crystals, 10 large crystals by itself, as you can see on the screen right now. And also, the uh, amount of medium shot crystals that you can get in here it's just filthy as well it's just disrespectful and have in mind that uh, they also level up quite a bit the level of your ca uh, of your weapons so in some quests I've gotten even like 50 medium shots right here just by doing this thing once which is crazy imagine the amount uh, if you played like uh, 10 times that's going to be 40 minutes you're going to get like 500 of the regular ones and 100 of the basic one of the medium ones and then 100 of the large ones uh, even more if you're lucky so in reality like in one hour two hour farming you can max out the 999 of the uh, medium ones and then get like a 300 or so of the large ones just by farming afk farming for like uh uh, have an, for like one to two hours a little bit of an extra something this is a little bit of an honorable mention if you have uh, this one right here the uh, great goblins of fire it is a very similar quest line although this is going to be active and if it is going to be active it is going to be a little bit uh, easier for you to get that extra for two large, large crystals because it just requires for you to clear the mission within four minutes, which is something very easy to do. It also requires for you not to enter into the critical condition more than one times, which is very, very easy to to do as well. Especially if you're farming this thing as an end game kind of scenario, where uh, you're just lo looking for these shots to be able to max out the terrible weapons, the essential weapons, the new weapons for your new characters. So yeah, this is how you would max out everything like that. <laughs> if you like the content, so like it, it's super appreciated. No one's you today, you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You're in the gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful person. I will see you. You're the gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one. Have a lovely, lovely day. And goodbye.